Hey there, it's the Brewski Report. This week, I've got a couple more beers that I had at the Beer Bloggers Convention. First beer up is this very cool looking bottle. This is an innovation, it's called, from Adnams in Southwold. Someone's just kicked a chair over there. She's trying to be quiet, it doesn't really matter. It's an American style IPA, 6.2%, and it's made from American, Slovenian, and English hops. Deep golden color, I'd say. Fresh and lively, a bit of that sort of live yeastiness hits you right in the snout. Ooh, it's a bit sneaky, this one. It sort of comes on sort of subtle, and then it kind of grips into you. Those sort of deep, dense malts in there, really dense and like um, caramelized. It's a thinking man's beer, I think, this one. It's just good. I don't, I don't like to get too much more flowery than that. You wouldn't be foolish, it would be a very good investment. They are gonna lock me up any second now. To go in with uh, 12 bottles of this, lovely food over an evening, and even good as it gets colder, a beer like this, over the autumn, I think this would be really nice drinking. And beer, a beer like that will lay down for a bit as well. You can lay good beers down for a year, two years, three years, four years, longer. And this, I think, is one of those beers. You put a few in the cellar, and it's a winner, that one. Finish that off. Next up, Seven Giraffes from the Williams Brothers up in Scotland. It's an elderflower and lemon zest infused beer. Really lively and fresh. The Williams Brothers are doing really great stuff. They've got quite a range. They also do historic ales as well, flavored with heather and mead as well. This one doesn't give away a lot on the nose. Little bit of sort of burnt caramel but on the palate is completely different. You're getting that citrus from the lemon zest and you're getting that elderflower coming through there. Not so much in a, in a sort of sweetness, but in a sort of in the aromatics of it. Where can you get it? It's a very good question. You can get it from the Fine Wine Company for one pound 70 a bottle. You can also get it direct from the Williams Brothers Brewery. So that's it. It's a bit gray out here, so I'm gonna muddle off somewhere else. We'll see you, bye.